where we bring you inspiration from our space to your space. My dear kid spacers, yes, it's another Friday evening to praise the Lord. Another Friday evening to learn more about the love of God. And we're so happy when children can learn about the love of God. It cannot be too much. You learn about the love of God at church, at home, at school, and for all the other children program. Yes, it's very good that our children can learn about God. And so, if you're new, welcome. We see the subscription going up and we're so grateful. Thank you for praying for us. Thank you for sharing the video. Thank you for letting boys and girls know about Kids Space. Thanks to our sponsors. Thanks to our contributors. Thanks to all of you who are supporting Kids Space. And right now, we're going to be going over to song service, story time, discover more, and explore more later. So stay tuned with us. This is Kids Space Channel where we bring you inspiration from our space to your space. Kids Space is brought to you in partnership with Jane Family Pharmacy and Gia Jane Natural. Welcome to Song Service. This week, boys and girls, we're going to be teaching you a new song. And it's called I'm In, Ride Out, Ride Up, Ride Down, and Happy All the Time. Are we ready, boys and girls? Yes. All right, let's go after two, one, two. I'm in, ride out, ride up, ride down, and happy all the time. I'm in, ride out, ride up, ride down, and happy all the time. Since Jesus Christ came in and cleansed my heart from sin, I'm in, ride out, ride up, ride down, and happy all the time. I'm in, ride out, ride up, ride down, and happy all the time. I'm in, ride out, ride up, ride down, and happy all the time. Since Jesus Christ came in and cleansed my heart from sin, I'm in, ride out, ride up, ride down, and happy all the time. Thank you, boys and girls. Over to you, Auntie Anna, for story time. So boys and girls, welcome to story time. I know that you are ready for story time. So this week's story is talking about a lady who was very kind and helpful. She was very kind and what? Helpful. I see the hands going up. Before we get into our story, let us tell the boys and girls and aunties and uncles where the story is taken from. So this story is taken from Acts 9. 36 to 43 verses 36 to 43 aunties and uncles and mommies and daddies find them for your boys and girls all right are we ready boys and girls yes auntie Anna. all right so i know your mommies and daddies read the lesson to you and they read the bible to you now anybody can tell me what's the name of that lady yes mm. you don't remember all right anybody remembers it starts with d her name was Dorcas. What was her name? Dorcas. Dorcas. And Dorcas was very kind. You know, Dorcas would help the people in the community. What are some of the things that Dorcas helped the people to do? Help them. Mm -hmm. Help them how? How did she help them? Be kind. Well, she was kind. Yes. Yes, Ashrel? She, if, her, if their house is, is dirty, she will clean. Yes. So she right very good she would go and she would clean people's house boys and girls and she would sew clothes she would do dressmaking you know and sew their clothes and if they were sick she would pray for them 
and she would treat the widows very well. Remember some time ago we talked about the widows? Yes. And how they were poor and hungry, remember? Yes. yes. Now Dorcas would visit the widows and she would help them and she would give them food. Wasn't that a very good thing for somebody to do? Yeah. Yes. And guess what happened? Dorcas was very sick and you're not going to believe this. Well, maybe you should because the word of God is true. She was so sick, she died. I know. Yes. She died. She died. Everybody was crying in the room. Everybody was crying in the room. But guess what? A miracle took place. Peter. Peter came. And what did Peter do? Peter. Her. Her. Yes. Peter came and prayed for her. Yes. Who was Peter praying to? Jesus. Right. He was praying to God. And a miracle happened, boys and girls. What happened? Dorcas came alive. She was alive. And so God is a God of miracles. Let's say that. God is a God of miracles. And guess what? God can work miracles in our lives, boys and girls. Do you know that? Yes, Auntie Anna. Very well. And we have a very special memory verse for that story. Being kind to the needy brings happiness. Say that. Being kind to the needy brings happiness. Are you kind to the needy? Yes. Do you share with your friends? Yes. We have been talking a lot about sharing. What do you share with your friend? Um, I, share, I share my snack. You share your snack. That's wonderful. Dylan, what do you share with your friend? When people are around the house, I share with them. When people are around the house, you share with them? Yes, that's wonderful. Kendra, what do you share? Who do you share with? Mommy. You share with your mommy? Me too. Yes. And that's I share with my friends. And you share with your friends. Wonderful. And that special memory verse is taken from Proverbs 14, verse 21. And let's say our special message for the boys and girls. Being kind to others make us happy too. Being kind to others make us happy too. So when you go throughout this week, remember to be kind, kind to one another, just like Dorcas did. Okay, boys and girls, that's it for story time. I hope that you learned something new. And guess what? You're going over to Art and Craft with Auntie Carla. Stay tuned. Dear kids, Spacer, say hi to the boys and girls. So, hi, boys and girls. Welcome to the art and craft session with Auntie Carla and Zoe Mitchell. Wow! And so today we're going to be doing our session, and of course, Auntie Anna, thank you so much for sharing with the boys and girls. We looked at helping hands. And the memory verse was about being kind to the need. It brings happiness. Boys and girls, you were told that for this session, you're going to need a plastic cup construction sheet you're going to need markers you're going to need crayons and you will also need a pair of scissors so run ahead and get those now the story was about dark as the lady who was always helping others so she could bring happiness zoe what are some things you could do to bring happiness to someone if share my food you could share your food awesome and at school you could share your lunch too right Yes, Andy Carl. Awesome, great. And so, boys and girls, it is upon us to share with others, to bring happiness to persons who are around us. And so, the cup, what we're going to be doing, we're going to put a happy face on this cup. So, Zoe, here's the marker. You're going to put the two eyes and a nice little mouth to show happiness. Go ahead. Right, so this is Zoe's cup. Zoe, the person looks happy? Yes, Auntie Carla. But we could do other things to make the person a little bit more happy, right? Okay, all right, so I'm going to do mine. This is mine. Whoopsie. This is my smiling face, and I'm going to fill it up with happiness. Now, boys and girls, for your construction sheet that you have, you could just fold it. 
could fold it into three and you're cutting one third, right? One out of the three pieces you're cutting off. And what I want for you to do, you're going to draw you doing something to make someone happy, right, Zoe? So on this, you're going to, you're going to draw you doing something nice. What could you draw, Zoe? What could you draw? Maybe you giving somebody the food that you said you were, you're going to give to them? Yes, Auntie. All right, so go ahead and do just that. And I'm going to do mine over on this side. So you can choose which, which colors you need. This one. All right, great. All right, so I'm going to use these two and we're going to close this up. So I'm going to draw me giving somebody something nice, right? Because we say when we share, we give, we bring happiness to others. So that's my person there. And this is the other one over here receiving, right? So I'm giving them a book, a nice book. All right, and they're stretching out their hands to receive the book. And they have a smiling face, right, because they're excited, right? So boys and girls, when we share with others whatever we have, no matter how small it is, it will bring happiness to them and also happiness to the Lord. And so I'm going to place this now in my cup. So you can continue drawing, Zoe. All right. So this is what the finished product should look like. I hope you can see my, all right, I'm going to outline it a little bit more. Go ahead, Zoe, go ahead. This is my gift that I'm giving them. And guess what, boys and girls? We're coming down to that time of the year when we share with others. So you can save your little lunch money, you know, and purchase a nice gift to give to a boy or a girl who lives at a children's home to make them feel happy, all right? So I'm going to place this in my cup. This is my happiness cup. Awesome. And do you see some level of excitement going on in my cup? This is what it should like, look like when you are through. All right. So, Zoe, you want to place your little happiness inside your cup now? Nice job, Zoe. Good. Nice. And you think that they're happy, right? Right, Zoe? They're happy, right? They're happy, right, Zoe? Yes, and the Carla. Okay, great. So, we're going to put this down in it. Nice. Turn it around so that they can see. Hold it up. And you see the happiness in Zoe's cup. And what do we do with our art and crafts, Zoe, when we're finished? We share it, right? So tell the boys and girls that they should... Share! Right, so we're sharing our happiness cup so that we could bring happiness to someone. So just before we go, boys and girls, the items that you will need for our art and craft session for next week, we need transparent plastic covers. So the ones that you use to protect your paper in your folder, or if you have clear plastic bags, then that's fine that you can get. You also need a pair of scissors. You also need newspaper, cotton balls, and some vegetable oil. So once again, you need the plastic construction, the plastic sheet wrapper to put over the paper or plastic bag. You also need scissors. You need newspaper. You need plain white sheet of paper as well. And you're also going to need cotton balls and vegetable oil. It is bye boys and girls. Bye boys and girls. See you next week. See you next week. And remember to share your art and craft with someone and bring happiness to others this week. Bye. Bye. Dear mommies and daddies, boys and girls, welcome to your brand new space right here on your Kids Space channel. It's Kids Space Kitchen. Yes, we are going to be cooking, we are going to be shaking. Yes, healthy meals for your children, healthy meals, boys and girls. And guess what? 
you are going to be in the kitchen with your mommies and daddies and you're going to be in the kitchen with auntie patrice and we are going to be bringing you kids space kitchen every wednesday evening at 4 30. so when you get in from school boys and girls run along and join us on kids space for kids space kitchen where we bring you inspiration from our kitchen to your kitchen Hi Kids Spacers, welcome to Explore More, where we explore more in the, the Word of God here on Kids Space. I am Uncle Tyrone and I am inviting you, yes you, to join us this and every Friday evening here on Kids Space as we go ahead and share our thoughts and explore more in the Word of God. Look forward to seeing you. we are in our discover more segment and I have princesses with me tell the boys and girls your name my name is Azalia Lyons my name is Alana Lyons and their sisters and boys and girls I'm sure you have brothers and sisters right so let's welcome them to kids space and welcome them to discover more so first of all we're going to say welcome to discover more all right let's do that again welcome to discover more yes boys and girls where we discover more in the word of god and welcome to kid space welcome to kid space where we bring you inspiration from our space to your space right so boys and girls you know that we're using our bibles right and so you can run along and get your bibles auntie anna has a big bible but you have a little bible that's because i can't see too well all right so we're ready to get into our lesson and this week we're going to be talking about daniel we're going to be talking about who daniel daniel and daniel is such a good character in the bible boys and girls and this story um it's taken from daniel chapters one and two so remember ask your mommy and your daddy to help you to find you should know the books of your bible by now and also 2 Kings 24, 1 to 16. That's where you're going to find all of the story. But we're going to give you a special memory verse before near to the end. Now, are we ready to get into the story? Yes, Auntie Anna. All right. So now, as, um, Alana, the story was about Daniel. And Daniel was captured. He was captured, right? Correct? Auntie Anna. And where was he taken? To Babylon. It, it, to Babylon. To, to Babylon. He was taken to Babylon. And what do we know about Babylon? That they worship idols. They worship idols. Um, among the many things about Babylon, boys and girls, they loved idol worship. And where Daniel and his friends were coming from, they lived in Jerusalem, right? So in Jerusalem, they were taught about the one and true God. Are you taught about God in your home? Yes, Auntie Anna. Right. You have morning and evening worship, right? Yes, Auntie Anna. And your parents pray with you? Yes, Auntie Anna. Good. Boys and girls, I am sure your parents are praying with you. If they are not praying with you, when you watch Kids Space, you say, Mommy and Daddy, you must pray with me. Pray with me. Yes. And Daniel prayed to his God. Now, when he went to Babylon, right, the king, they were taken as prisoners. Because when you're taken from your home, um... It, it, think about it. If you're taken from your home, how would you feel? Sad, Auntie Anna. You would feel sad. But why would you feel sad, though? Because, because I, I would him. miss all my family. All right. Good. You'll miss your family members. Yes, Alana? Because uh, I was taken away from my friends and family. And it's the same thing that happened to Daniel and his friends. They were very sad because they were taken from their homes. But guess what? There was something about Daniel and his friends, right? They, when they went to Babylon, you know what some people would have done? They would have just forgotten about their God. But did Daniel and his friends forget about God? No, no Auntie Anna. Anna. They did not. And something very sad happened to them, boys and girls. Their names were changed. Their names were changed. And we're going to look at what their names were changed to. Do you remember what their names were changed to? Yes, Auntie. Yes. All right, so we're going to go through. So Daniel's name was changed to 
Belshazzar, right. And Ananias' name was changed to Shadrach. And Mishael's name was changed to what now? Meshach. And Azariah's name was changed to Abednego. So boys and girls, most of the times you'll hear about Daniel, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. But those were actually their Babylonian names. But the important thing, that even though their names were changed and Nebuchadnezzar was trying to make them forget their God, they did not forget their God. Isn't that a wonderful thing? Yes, Auntie Anna. I am going to take your important points, but boys and girls, next week we have so much more to learn about this story. So make sure you stay tuned to Kids Space to discover more. What are your important points from the lesson? My important point is... If God is with you, I will not be afraid. Okay, so when God is with you, you will not be afraid, right? Because God is what? God is strong and is powerful and is really, really mighty to save. Okay, Alana, what's your important point from the story? All things are possible with Jesus. All things. Some things are all things. Some things. Well, all things, <laughs> all things are possible with God. That was just Auntie Anna doing a little thing. But all things are possible with God. And we have a special memory verse that we want to look at. It's Psalm 119. Are you there? Yes, Auntie Anna. All right, Psalm 119 and verse 30. All right, so we're going to read together. Okay, all right. After two, one, two boys and girls, remember to find that in your Bibles at home, all right? Let's go. One, two. I have chosen the way of truth. Thy judgments are I laid before me. Amen. So we should always choose the way of the Lord, boys and girls. And the message is, I serve God when I help my friends make good choices. I serve God. I serve God when I help my friends to make good choices. Boys and girls, remember, make good choices for Jesus. And remember, you can always pray to him, and he will help you to make good choices. Until next week, let's say bye to the boys and girls from Discover More. Bye. Stay tuned for our next video as we continue to explore more about the Word of God for boys and girls ages 10 to 12.